Good evening, everybody. You tune in to 91.7 FM WMSE. Tuesday night, time for another edition of Local Live. My name is Cal. I'm here with Aaron, as usual. Yes, as usual. Here I am. Uh, can you give my mic a little more juice? Sweet. All right, guys, guess who we have on for uh, Local Live. Let's Are you telling me to guess? <laughs> <laughs> we have one of my favorite bands from Milwaukee, uh, also featuring members of from Madison. It's collections of colonies of bees. Uh, ben Derrickson, Chris Rosenau, Daniel Spack, Matt Skemp, and Muriel Alschwang are the new incarnation of Bees, which has been a long, long running band. The new album they have is called Hawaii. It just came out on Friday on Polyvinyl. Yeah, and uh, I was kind of, I felt like I was a little bit of a late bloomer with this band because I didn't discover them until like the middle of last decade like 2005 2006 or something like that and they'd already been at it since 1998 but there it was kind of a for me a renaissance of like discovering local music at that time and I as soon as I heard them I was it was one of those times in my life where I thought you know the music being made in Milwaukee is as good as any music being made anywhere and they were one of those bands that really uh kind of prompted me to to realize that and uh I think that uh, you know they they've changed so much over the years. Their their whole sound is completely different from what it was when they started, and um, I I feel like they were kind of on a nice little instrumental post rock type of thing for quite a while there, and maybe took it maybe as far as it could really go. And now they've uh, introduced a new member and got a new album, and uh, it's it's completely different sound, but it's still got that distinctive Chris Rose now guitar. So uh, I think that there's there's enough to tie it back to people who've been fans forever, but radical new sounds also. Mm-hmm. And I, I think I, I go way back uh, watching these shows. I can't even tell you how many I've seen. Um, just the you know common threads always the utter joy that yeah. one sees from them playing on stage, and also the utter joy you feel watching them play. Uh, it's just consistently rewarding, and I feel like this new version is going to have them stretching like their net a little bit wider to get a new audience. And I'm really excited. They're going to be opening up for Sylvan SO this weekend. Big, big deal. They're also playing Sterling Brewing Festival and uh, going along on Sylvan SO's tour, playing Riviera and Vic and in Chicago, among other things. So these guys are, are getting ready to pump out the polyvinyl release yeah. this week so it's an exciting time to have them here it's hard to beat that bill sylvan so and collections of colonies of bees and uh yeah we're gonna get to some live music with them in just a couple minutes first we're gonna play a quick spot from our friends at club garibaldi we'll be right back WMSE's Local Live is supported by Club Garibaldi. Located at 2501 South Superior Street in Bayview. Open seven days a week, Club Garibaldi serves burgers, hot wings, and more. And features live music weekly. For more information and Club Garibaldi's live music events, visit clubgaribaldi.com. Thanks, as always, to Club Garibaldi for help making, helping make this program possible.
true.
us. Welcome, everybody. Hey, guys. Hey. Thank you. Can we go around and do a quick uh, quick intro on the mic for each member? Hi, I'm Mariel. Daniel. Hi, I'm Matt. Hey, I'm Chris. <clears throat> and Ben. All right. Got that memorized audience, hopefully. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Chris, I want to kind of go back to the beginning of the band just briefly. Um, cause I was always curious, like what is, what was it that you wanted to bring, um, when starting collection of colony, collections of colonies of bees that, uh, you didn't already have an outlet for in, uh, like Pele or any other musical outlet. That yeah. You I mean, that's going. pretty much what it was. It was a direct re- just reaction to Pele being a relative, you know, rock oriented band mm-hmm. and collections started with just me in my basement, just kind of noodling around with sounds uh, 90s, Gaster Del Sol, you know, David Grubbs, Jim O'Rourke kind of stuff who I, uh, you know, idolized at the time and still love. Just trying to kind of, you know, do a different kind of thing. Um, first record, we just, I just made 100 CDRs and on my CD burner. And then, uh, I mean, it's gone through a bunch of inter- iterations from there. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's true. It's totally true. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> So since the band has been a band, you've gone through a lot of lineup changes. Tom Winsack was in the band. He's now in Field Report and All Tiny Creatures, John Mueller, Death Blues, Mind Over Mirrors, and then Nick Sanborn from Decibly and, of course, Sylvanas. So was it hard each time you had a transition to go back to the drawing board, or did things just kind of seamlessly you know, weave in and out? Yeah, no, it wasn't hard at all. The the reason those, I mean, those changes just kind of naturally happened because it was a natural evolution. We just kind of had felt like we were kind of done doing that and wanted to do something else. And the easiest way to do that is to find your genius friends that make all of your ideas way better. (laughs) True. (laughs) (laughs) Then, you know, everything just falls into place. Yeah. Cool. And have an incredibly strong leader who will yeah. constantly guide us. <laughs> <laughs> Both of those things, mate. Okay. <laughs> so, um, you know, the, the origin story of this new outfit is that it happened after you went to Eau Claire's the second one. Yep. And uh, you asked Justin Vernon, if B's got a whole new set together, would you uh, be able to play the third yep. uh, Eau Claire's? And you were the first band booked. Yep. So all those songs that are on Hawaii, your new record, were written specifically for Eau Claire's, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. So what was the aha moment that made you go, I want to be here and I want a new band or, you know, a new rendition of Bees and a new record? Yeah, I mean, it was kind of the opposite of what happened the first time. Um, uh, You know, I was... Bees was doing some stuff that was kind of just generally naturally or had just kind of generally naturally come to an end. And I had been doing more of the solo-y kind of duet, kind of Gaster Del Sol, David Grubbs, Jim O'Rourke stuff at the festival. I thought, well, let's turn it around on its head. So now Bees will become a rock band. (laughs) For the 14th time. For the 14th time. Exactly. Indeed. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you are definitely a rock band. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, prior to this, I mean, you had been known as an instrumental band. So who's was it your idea to suddenly invite uh, vocals in, or I just got a real hair <laughs> up about it. <laughs> <laughs> you just really wanted to sing, and you wanted to sing with someone. No, I, well, I didn't. I wasn't planning on me singing at all. Oh. But I thought the idea of adding vocals was really good, and then Chris had already come up with this kind of repetition idea. I think you and Ben were the ones that were talking about that originally, right? Like that. Mm -hmm. And then throwing, just making a giant machine to have some lovely person sing through was the only real (laughs) initial idea. (laughs) And then Mary killed all of us one night. Okay. (laughs) And so can we talk a little bit about this, uh, how you have this setup where the the vocals and the the guitar are linked? How does that exactly work? Yeah, it's a couple of uh, looper pedals that have a little cool trick where you can just sort of link them together with like one is the master and one is the slave. And so Chris kind of drives the, the machine and then uh, Mariel gets a little cable to plug in and then she can kind of tap in a little um, a little loop anytime she likes. We sort of built a rig around her voice 
with the idea that we she could kind of play her voice like a like a mellotron almost. Okay. So she would sing a note and then tap in little bits, bits and pieces that would kind of build into this pile of sound that was wasn't exactly a vocal line, but kind of wasn't, kind of wasn't, and th- that was like the impetus for for the whole vocal theme. And then all of a sudden we had some hop hooks, and then well, that happened, <laughs> <laughs> and that was a nice change too. <laughs> but that, yeah, that's basically it. There's some relatively inexpensive, but inexpensive but really cool little uh, looper pedals that link together cool mm-hmm. that sounds great yeah thanks yeah it's pretty it's pretty um, low tech to be honest there's no computers on stage i mean everything is played uh performed for each and every song everything is kind of built from scratch and uh it makes for sometimes kind of tense performances here and there where you know things are could almost go haywire at any given time until we reel it back in and, and it keeps keeps it really live uh to do it that way so there's no no pre-recorded stuff uh, at all it's all all Marielle and, and Chris like laying down these layers and layers. <laughs> As evidenced in a couple of the screw ups from yeah. the first four songs. <laughs> <laughs> Take your word yeah, for it. You didn't hear anything. <laughs> but it's great. Right. Yeah, it's great because there's nothing there's nothing pre programmed. So it's like we're performing this thing. It's different for us every time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's it keeps it super exciting. Yeah. Awesome. Well, uh Sadly, we've kind of run out of time for the interview. We're going to have to get you guys back out there. But uh, uh, quickly tell everybody where they can find the new album and uh, about the shows coming up this weekend and and beyond. Yep, new records uh, out on Polyvinyl Records. Uh, I think you can get it at your local record stores or literally anywhere else, I think. Um, go to polyvinylrecords.com. It's there. Uh, we're playing with our good buds, uh, Sylvan Esso, starting on Friday. Um, and then we have... We do a run of five shows with them, and then a bunch of other kind of cool summer Milwaukee stuff. Um, if you go to that polyvinyl site and look us up, you can find all that stuff there too. Really all cool. right. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks awesome. for having us in. We always love coming in here. Our pleasure, completely. Uh, so yeah, let's get you guys. You guys have two more tracks for us, yep. and uh, we'll be right back with some more live music in just a couple of moments. Stay with us. Hi. <laughs> All right, we're going to send it back out to the Bob and Jeannie Friedman live performance studio for one. Thank you. 
I thought you guys were like a slow end. Okay, we've arrived at the This Is Your Song segment portion of the program. We've got collections of colonies of bees, or at least some of them in the studio <laughs> with us here. And, uh, well, whose whose choice was the uh, the Dead Rider song? Is that I a mean, group choice? Mine and Chris's mostly. Kind okay. of, but it was kind of funny. It was just kind of like, what are we going to choose for this song? This is an impossible choice. And we're just kind of like... Dead Rider? Yeah. yeah, everyone's kind of like, yeah, probably. Well, our sound guy was using it to tune PAs, like in giant theaters. And like, he loved the song. Like, we loved the song before that, but it was just cool to... <laughs> <laughs> and have you guys ever played with this band before? Yes, yep. we have. Um, so Todd Rittman, um, the guitar singer in Dead Rider, is a good friend of Dan's, and I've known him for a while as well. And I don't know, you guys know him? Yeah, like... Only met him at the one show? Right. So yeah, we played with we played with them. Um, actually, a lot of the the guitar licks, my guitar licks on on Hawaii, the new Bees record, kind of are inspired by him, um, especially some of those wild solos that I've really not, never done before. So that's another reason that it kind of made sense. He's an inspiration. Mm-hmm. Plus, just like listen to this song. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, yes, will. yes, listen to the song. We shall. I think that's a good idea right now. All right, we've got just a little something off of uh, the Raw Dance by Dead Rider, uh, 2011 release, I believe, and uh, we'll get right to it. It's for people like you. Took a knock to know your team. 
That was just a little something from Dead Rider. Awesome band. Check out everything that they do if you get the chance. And that was Collections of Colonies of Bees. Choice for This Is Your Song. Thank you so much for coming in, talking with us, playing for us. It was fabulous. Thanks, guys. We love you guys. And uh, anytime we can do this, we always do. Um, it's it's really great. You guys make it so easy and fun. So we we uh, appreciate it. Thanks. Yay. We've been longtime fans of Coco bees. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> and vice versa. <laughs> so uh, quickly tell people uh, where they can find information about your music, your shows, all that good stuff, whatever yep. you want to tell uh, them. Ordering the records, streaming the records, finding out where we're going to play. Um, if you go uh, Collections Bees on any social media, Instagram, Twitter, or if you go to polyvinylrecords.com, that's our record label. Just look under Collections of Colonies of Bees for artists. Um, yeah, and you can find all the shows and everything you want to know there. Awesome. All right. Well, I want to let everybody know that you're tuned into 91.7 FM WMSE Milwaukee. I guess that's about all I have to say, except for thanks for tuning into tonight's edition of Local Live on WMSE. Local Live is a production of WMSE Radio, recorded and broadcast live from the Bob and Jeannie Friedman Live Performance Studio on the downtown campus of the Milwaukee School of Engineering. Local Live is produced by Aaron and myself and engineered by Billy Cicerelli. Video by Moleskin Productions. 
That's right, and hospitality tonight for local live artists provided by Cedar Teeth Pizza, who can be found online at cedarteeth.com. Anodyne Coffee, who can be found online at anodynecoffee.com, and by Sprecker Brewing Company. More info at spreckerbrewery.com. So, for upcoming guests and archives of past local live performances, please visit wmse.org. Tune in again next Tuesday at 6. We've got River West Aces coming in. Longtime Milwaukee musicians, including Blaine Schultz, in that group. So, it'll be a nice, nice thing to have. Absolutely. We'll see you next week. Stay tuned for Midnight Radio.